So last, but certainly not least, is the issue of water quality and the testing of the water quality. So you can see right here we have several items. This is the standard test kit which will test for nitrate, nitrite, pH, total alkalinity, and total hardness. These are very simple test strips that are dipped into the water. and We'll explain their operation momentarily. The second set of bottles here are for the ammonia tests and this appears to be our biggest issue is ammonia is just off the chart. It was eight parts per million the other day. We're getting it down to around five or four but it's still not good enough. And then um, we have this ammonia safe detoxifies dangerous ammonia by Tetra. So far it doesn't seem to work but we're going to keep on giving it a try. So this is our basic test kit which um, gives us our major parameters. So what you do is like this is just like testing pH which, which is what it does. Is you dip it down here for two seconds. 1,000, 2,000. Whew, quick. And pull it out of there. Shake it off. And um, get ready to read it. Now it's going to be 25 seconds before you can take your first reading. And um, this is not a great system. This is on sale for $7.99 or something like that, so that's why I bought it. Uh, right here it says, read first line. And it's even in French, um, because you know how many people in North America speak French. Um, so the first thing that we want to read is the pH. And right now, um, it appears as though it says that it is acceptable. Looks like we've got a pH of around, oh, maybe 7, 7.5, right around there. That should be pretty good. Uh, the second line that we're going to read here is the total alkalinity. And um, that's, you know, fairly high here in Tucson, 200, something like that. Not much you can do about it. And the third reading here is going to be the um, total hardness. And... Um, it appears as though the water is not very hard and that is because we have added a lot of distilled water um, from Aquavita down the store and if you're ever in Tucson make sure to go to Aquavita. It's a fantastic produce store and they're the only place I know where you can fill distilled water. It's out of this world. So, um, But normally if you just use Tucson tap water it would be just off the chart because most water in the desert is kind of that way. It's, it's really hard water. So. Enough time has passed to where we probably can get a good reading on nitrates and nitrites, and that's really the most important thing here, um, pH and the nitrate and nitrite. So it looks as though we are pretty light on here. It's this little, this fourth thing there, thingy, whatever it is. Um, it says, oh, it says, caution, attention. Or no, attention, and because um, this is French, um, but it's pretty good. It's not bad. It's you know it's not grading towards this heavy pink color. Now here, it's for nitrate. It looks like it's still pretty low. Like we're probably what 10? 10 parts. So so we're safe. Everything is good for here. So um, yeah, smashing. Although ammonia is really nice for lemon fresh scent and clean windows and for waking up boxers and football players that have been knocked out, you don't want it in your fish tank. So we'll explain what we're going to do about this. Continuing with the water quality issue in the fish tank, I'm going to show how to test for ammonia. So we have the bottle number one, the bottle number two, the tube for the sam sample and this color card and this is what we want and this is what we don't want I'm gonna take a sample so we just want five millimeters so I'm gonna get rid of the extra Okay, right. 
And now what we do is very simple. We're gonna open this bottle and then we're gonna drop eight. So we have eight drops from bottle number one. Then same. I'm gonna put another eight drops, but now from bottle number two. Now we're gonna shake our sample for five seconds. Then we need to wait for five minutes. So we're gonna have some snacks. So here we have the final color after being waiting and it looks pretty close to 4 parts per million or milligrams per liter. So we're gonna keep trying to decrease the ammonia level in this fish tank.